All right, Central Board of Health meeting, Central Town Hall, Slackman's Hearing Room, Monday, November 10th, 2014, 7 p.m., open meeting. Make a motion to accept the agenda. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Meet Sue Tice, new public health department administrator assistant. And then we appoint Sue Tice as barrel agent for the town situate. So this meeting. How are you? Good, how are you? Excellent. Russell Clark. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, pleasure to meet you today. Right. Yeah. Cool. So is, uh, how long have you been on the job? <laughs> it's been since last Monday. Last Monday, so, so it's been a week. Yeah. Yeah. And you're still here. And I'm, that's what they keep saying. You keep coming back. That's a good thing. You're doing all right. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I mean, you didn't have tough shoes to fill. Tie card. I know. That's a cool. And to that end, you know, you know, I'd like to thank Mary for her assistance in my Absolutely. short time here, and obviously, you know, the assistance she's provided the board and. You've been doing double duty. Years, so. sure have. Yeah, job well she done, should be, and she should be commended for that. Yes, yeah. job well done. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it was a pleasure working with all of you. Thank you. It's been a pleasure working with you, too. <laughs> <laughs> it absolutely has. In the most sincere way. I mean that. Thank you. Um, so, you want to be burial agent. I <laughs> we come to the right place. Here we are. It's a dream. Do you have any burning candles? <laughs> well, you'll have a new thing to add to your resume. That's right. Do we have a uh, motion? Do you have any questions? You're, no. You're there, prepared? I don't have a slag. Motion to appoint Sue Tice as burial agent to the council. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Congratulations. Thank you. Update regarding development of private well regulations. Moving right along. Yeah. So, color is a premium. I have color so that I can give you folks some guidance. So, um, so the reason that the type is so tiny is because there are several comments out in the margin to kind of keep track of and consider as the process of developing these moves forward. Things to cross-check, people to contact, determination whether certain things are feasible in situate or applicable in situate compared to other towns. So starting from the top, you'll see a very small list, a long list, but a small list of the towns that we are looking at or the regions in which we're looking at to gain information from and to kind of take best practices and develop our own regulations. So it's Pingham, Walpole, Cohasset, Green, Marshfield, Norwell, Norwood, Plymouth, Nantucket, Orleans, and the Shoba region between what the previous director had liked and what um, I had uncovered mm -hmm. you know, as being somewhat more recently. Cohasset was revised in 2013. So they're our neighbor and those would be good to include. Mm -hmm. So um, I can email you these if you'd like, but what I've done to date is I've gone through Hingham, Walpole, Raynham, Norwood, and I'm almost through Norwell, um, and part of Marshfield. And I've combined what I think are the best in color codes. So it's on my version, mm -hmm. you'll be able to track which town I've taken something from um, in terms of the language or the section. That is quite organized. What did we do before word? Huh? I know. Certainly not as bigger, but um so the current sections that I have, at least in terms of structure, are purpose and authority, definitions and terms, um, private well construction permit application and fees. That's Number three. Number four is use of a well as a potable supply. Five is private well location, in other words, siting of the well. Minimum is 60,000 square feet. That's one of those where, you know, is, is, it, is it feasible, you know, in, in situ? Is it, is it something you want to think about? Um, one or more towns um, provide. 
lot. And, 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 and we are in irrigation of potable at that point. For? Well, I don't want to get bogged down in specifics, but, but are you breaking it down between irrigation and potable? Well, actually, it's funny you ask that question because that's one of the questions that I had for you as a group. Because right now, I think the only wells that we would be permitting would be irrigation wells. Because I believe, I'm not correct, Situate has public water available to all current lots. They don't have to, they don't have to take it. Well, all of the towns indicate that if public water supply is available, you cannot install private water supply for drinking. You can put an irrigation well, but you can't choose a private water supply over public connection. Really? So it's it's some it's but, 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 but then you get into um, what's considered available. Like there's that couple, you know, in Torrey's Lane that, you know, at the end is 100 yards down, the, is 200 feet down the road available? I guess it's similar to, to the, the cost, sewer, connect, sewer connection yeah, question. The cost of right. 200,000 to bring the, you know, um, I think you have a right to put it in a hot well if you want. If you can't, uh, Every other town you saw to the so far. If 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 public water is available, then you have to you cannot. So far, that's what I've seen. Available available is a bit. The problem with saying available is you open yourself to what's available. Maybe there's a magic number, uh, hundred. Yeah. So this is so you this is. You have to go to the pool. hundred yards. And what if you go into a cliff, right on the rock or the ledge? So this is so this is this is the language from Norwood. So, right? mm -hmm. so the language from Norwood, so it's four point one. Um, no individual well of any type intended for use as to a potable water supply shall be installed where a municipal supply of water is accessible and where permission to connect to such a supply can be obtained from the authority having jurisdiction over that. Some version of that is pretty consistent in the regs that I've reviewed in detail in putting this together. That's only been five of the five of the towns so far, but it, but I figured that those are the kind of questions that it makes sense to kind of show you at least the direction that I'm starting to, yeah. to get to, and and as you look at these, you can ask those kind of questions, and we can kind of revisit and revise exactly. rather than me just kind of going in a vacuum and at the very end saying, "Here you go, what do you think?" Yeah, nope, that's a great standing point. Man. Yeah. Yeah, further down the road, I think well, like that would be But you're saying every other, every one of these towns the ones I have had no grandfathered in potable wells, I can't imagine that. Because we have potable of wells. Of course they have grandfathered. Grandfathered, yeah. sure. So you, you knew wells. Right, and those but, but, are the But don't we want to sort of go to, how are we going to try to somewhat, at some point, try to backtrack and make, like, put in regulations for existing wells, like a testing requirement? Oh, yeah. Okay, so especially the home sales, kind of like on the Title Five routine. You know what I mean? Like, like if, if they say they you can't have wells, have we have would have a whole that. other section for wells that exist hmm. prior to you know December of 2014. I mean, I, you know, I, I, yeah. There's a section. I guess I'm a little surprised. I, I, I'm not sure. I want to. Is this the first time you guys have seen this? Yeah. Yeah. So, so I, all of us just all fresh with us. So, yeah. I, it might yeah, be something we read through and make some yeah, notes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but I see your point there too, and uh, it might be something that you know was grandfathered into a point, and the well has to be redrilled and it has to come to compliance, or you have to look up or something. But we'll, we we can read it over and see how you did. <coughs> to, because my my overall thing is on the irrigation wells. Keep it simple, stupid. Mm -hmm. So the irrigation wells, you know, we may not have, we may not want to have to be so detailed. Uh, I mean, I'm just throwing that out. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> and, 
and, and then as a group, do we want to bang out irrigation rounds first and audible? We're doing it simultaneously. I'm doing simultaneously because they're so interwoven my own thing. Okay. But, but I will also. But do you think with the irrigation, just go by Title V, whatever they say, yeah, the setbacks yeah. and stuff? Or yeah, I mean, I, is there any reason for us to be any stricter than Title V? No, no, no. no. And, and, and I would, I would also want to just. I wouldn't want to rush anything, but I would like to also, rather than come up with the perfect regulations, come up with you know completion always perfection. You know, you know what I mean? Because I think with all the whole water lines, I think we're going to have um, since people start getting the new bills, <coughs> there's, there's going to be a, people are really going to explore irrigation wells in a big way. I mean, I could be wrong. So get something in place. Well, because we don't have anything in place, so right? We need to get something in place. Right. So in, in terms of speaking to the grandfathering real quick, um, in terms of registration, that's section six. You know, if you have it, if you have an existing well, please you know, let the board know and register it within six months of you know the date that this uh, becomes effective. Um, so that's something to kind of keep an eye on. Section ten um, is private well inspection at the time of property transfer, just like the Title V inspection. So at least the, the heart of what mm -hmm. some of what you're you're talking about is is here at least in bones. Mm -hmm. um, but then the you know the separation of potable versus non-potable wells. Um, the way it's set up so far is there are certain sections that make the two distinct and, and certain sections where they're, they're one and the same. Like well construction would be the same, which I've omitted from this draft because I know we basically said we didn't want to become engineers. Mm -hmm. You know, let the well drillers figure out how best to drill a well based on state guidance. Um, so I'm kind of struggling with the level of detail in a town like <coughs> Kingdom and the fact that there's no detail provided in construction from up some other towns. So I'm kind of trying to find a middle of the road there. Um, but a lot of the sections like locating a well, registering a well, um, decommissioning requirements, and, you know, inspection, all that kind of stuff covers both. You know, there is no division between what you do for a portable versus a non-portable well. But there are sections specific to whether it's a portable well or not. So I didn't distribute this ahead of time because quite frankly, mm -hmm. I was still working on it last yeah. night to get it to, to this point. Yeah. Um, and I figured distributing it by email, which if you're a color person like me, having it by email would be a little easier than you know, just yeah, going right. over it like this. Um, so um, some of this stuff is in there as placeholders and you'll see I've got notes in the margin, you know, whether you know maybe notes to you or notes to me, you know, things to so, so so you would have, you know, six months to register, but but what we don't want to be faced with is getting somebody appearing with us appearing before us with a subject that's you know similar to what we had four months ago mm -hmm. where there is a a septic system proposed and the only way we found out that there was a well was the apartment the property you owner mm -hmm. said it's too close to my well. So in in conjunction with these, you know, we'd still like to try to start a database of where the, where the wells are. Which I which I do have. Um, I've got two different lists from Jennifer's old files that I mm -hmm. stumbled upon, and we received two notices today in the mail from well drillers about wells going in at two properties in situ. Really? Mm -hmm. So I mean we've had a couple of people come in and, and ask about the procedures and I've told them that you know, we're in the process of developing private well regulations. In the meantime, follow the state guidance and let us know when you register you know when your well's been put in and I gave that exact exam example. We're not trying to back regulate you, but we're trying to protect you if someone's putting in a septic system. They came to you, they've come to you and said, this is a well is going in, not can we put in one? Well, they said, what's the procedure for putting in, you know, do you do you have regulations or guidance? Irrigation. irrigation. 
they've all been air nation so far that they've asked about. And today was the first day that we actually received any kind of documentation that somebody's moved forward with that process. And I'm not sure whether they've cross-referenced with DPW, if there needs to be cross-reference with DPW, or any other department here. That's that's actually something in here about permitting. And you, uh, <coughs> this was from the homeowner or from the actual eligibility that you had correspondence with? So homeowners have come in yeah. asking about, um, I think we've had three maybe come in since I've been here asking about regulations and guidance. Um, and I've said, you know, what I just said here, that you know, we're in the process of developing regulations and so on. And how about a fee um, or an application? Um, to right. date, to date, they, yeah, to date we don't have one. So, so I just, you know, so I wrote, you know, I wrote down addresses. Yeah, so it's been a while, while west for the past, no, right. okay. years. I think, you know, I think we should have some type of can yeah, we, we can go over this for four months and try to create the perfect regulations. Instead, we should focus on putting something in place so we know where the wells are. Where the wells are. I think you're going to have a hard time trying to get people to admit where their wells are because the gentleman who came in um, in his greenhouse. In his greenhouse was on, and he's got two. And I see here that you know it says that well, some of them we copy and paste today is only one one per lot. You know, he's got two. There's a lot of people out there who are not going to come forward. But what you're going to run into, which predates you, is a big lawsuit where there was a septic, you know, somebody tried to put in, put in a well to prevent a, you know, a septic system going in, and there was a lawsuit, what came first, and, you know, it, it had run its course. Yeah, oh, I agree. It has to have paperwork, and it has to have a hierarchy to get it done. But can we do that? Can we, can we go to make a perfectly right now? I'm sure we can, but I don't know if it's a prudent thing to do right away. I don't know if you just do a permit fee and you don't have any guideline on what the no, permit no, is or no, anything. No, no, I agree. I mean, we might be looking at Well, I mean, she caught before the bus. I think we need well, to so do more of a bone work. But Jen can okay. easily, easily drop a one page thing that just says Citro Board of Health, name, address, you know, distance from XYZ, distance from XYZ, and, you know, thank you very much. I will all check. Well, it's not just $100. I mean, they have to adhere to, but the minimum the state guidelines, mm -hmm. right? They, they can't put in a well that is any less stringent than the state guidelines. Right, and they have to be licensed well drill. It's just like we require every other right. uh, so, uh, contract. So the fallback is that there are there are state guidelines. Mm -hmm. and, then, and that's what I've been providing people when they come in, is a copy yeah. of the well guidelines from mm -hmm. DEP. Well, we came up with a fee schedule to, to do that. I think we said, too, that anybody that already has a pre-existing well, there was no fee. We're not trying to mm -hmm. penalize somebody to come forward. We want them to come forward. Right. We want to know, and it's for a good reason. It's not an alternative motive. But yeah, maybe we do come up with a, some sort of fee schedule and we can do it to the state guideline and put it in our agenda to vote on it. I, I, I don't even really think it's in the agenda and I wouldn't want to give you an open view of the mm -hmm. quandary that we just slid this one under the carpet that we felt best and not in the best interest of because the citizens. At some point, you know, in this different lists, and it doesn't have to be completely perfect the first time, is this how this X amount of household uh, structures and there's 99% of those are tied into wire, but at some point, if there's 6,000 houses, we want to match up house to water hookup, house to water, and if there's not a water hookup, then they must have a well. And that could be, I mean, that could take a year to do, but, or two years, but at least, you know, we do it by section of town or by um, street. Sure. You know, we do 100, 100 a month. And uh, we got to figure out too how to advertise this. Do we put it in with a tax bill? Do we do something to, you know, like the dog licenses they do for the trash removal, they do for the other thing. And everybody gets a tax bill. There's a little note in there. If you have a well, please report to the city of Board of Health. So it's somewhere within that six month guideline that we gave unequivocal notice that 
they were asking for, for your well location. Mm -hmm. And no one could say, well, I didn't, I didn't read it on the website, or I never went to the library, or I never went to town hall to read it. You got it in the tax bill. And if they paid their tax bill, then they, then they saw it. Then they should have seen it. Yeah, if they didn't, then they, then they. Well, I can talk to the treasurer. They ignored about it. That. You could actually just go through the tax rules and start waiting to know. They get a water bill, they get a, they get a water bill, and they don't have enough. Right. Because you can't use both, right? You can't use town water and a potable one. I don't right. believe so. Right. So, I mean, it doesn't have to be, I mean, I, I think that's where we need to eventually, and there still might be, you know, a couple that might fall through the cracks, but we're not going to, we're not going to fly a blind idea. <coughs> well, we can redo this over the next two weeks. Yeah. See what you got, and maybe if, if we're on board with that, if you really want to get something in place quicker, then maybe we can just do a quick fee set up for anybody new to just say simply follow yeah. state guidelines, yeah. and there's a, a permitting fee for basically, um, what do you call it, secretarial fees? Fees, I don't know what a fee is. Administrative fees, by the way, to put it right. right. Administrative fees. Um, I don't know what the, you kind of threw out 150. I have no idea what. No, it, it, it was it, it wasn't 150 as much as a registration process. Right. And a fit, yeah. I mean, what are the fees in other towns? Is it 50, 75? It, it, range, it ranges from 50, from what I've seen so far, 50 to 500, and one town divides it by potable or not potable. They've got different fees for the type of well. Right. They're all over. They're all over the lot. Well, then the question is, how much time would it take if uh, if John Doe came through the door and with an application and said, "I want to do it," how long does it then take to put it in the computer and do it? And, I mean, is that worth fifty bucks? I mean, we're not here to sort of say make money. It's kind of helping the citizens of the town. I would, I would want to be a gouger. No, no, no. Because to me, it becomes another tax, and I would be against that. But there is justification that mm -hmm. it takes time in the office right. to put that in. Yeah, and then file it, sure. And file it, sure. And, and, and there's no inspection process on irrigation. Yeah. They, they could be, you know, for the potable, a fee could be part of an inspection. Well, the potable, the potable, they have to get it certified by the state lab. And then we would have to require them yeah, to show them to do that once. Right. Engineer and make sure it meets the setbacks and all that. The engineer would have to stamp it with more than it. It would just be a matter of a review from you of the town engineer to say, yep, that engineer is in line with us. Everything right. Matches. And then and then we would get the lab results and we would compare them against our requirements in terms of the analyte list <coughs> required and then the, con the maximum concentrations of those contaminants. Um, very quickly, what's the what's the difference um, uh, separation between irrigation and a septic system? The state, and then uh, same, the same question as well. State, I thought it was fifty, but I can see a hundred in here. Yeah. That's a hard yeah. one, right? Hundred for potable. I thought fifty for okay. irrigation. Okay. I thought it's been a while since I've looked at it. Yeah, I haven't had to look at it. And yeah, the question is, does it need to be a setback off your line? Yeah. In terms of property line? Yeah. So if you look in section 5, I just saw that in section 5-7, I've provided a combination, and you can't see it on your copy very well because I have it in colors, but I have a combination of three towns, oh, yeah. like any public or private well. One town has 15 feet, two other towns have 25 feet, where they've spoken to it. Two towns agree the property line 10 feet. Three towns agree distance to leaching facility 100 feet. So where there have been multiple towns speaking to distance, I've put all the town's distances in there. Hingham, i put down below in that little chart, because Hingham does it a little bit different. Hingham does it for potable versus non-potable. They separate it out and they they tend to be a little different from the other towns. So I put both of those in there for consideration.
if, if you could have 100 water a well, if, if you only have to be 25 feet off the low line, then you're restricting that person to 75 feet off of theirs. Right. Right. You can get back to the whole swipe thing. Right. Or then swipe off that. Yeah. Well, let's look at this. Um, what is the town's regulation? Uh, the state's regulations for distance? I think it's 50 from, from irrigation and 100 from potable, right? That's not right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it should be located. Well, we have to make sure we get the people coming in. You know, like you said, the one who's working for it, we just want to make sure that they're adhering to those guidelines. You know, depending on where the house is and if it's on the sewer or if it's on. Well, if they're well drilled, they can't be. They can't be. They can't be. They can't be doing it closer than state guidelines. But once again, you're talking about who's property line versus property line. Well, that's true, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I was going to ask you. I was thinking of this uh, the other night. This is a little bit with well regulations, but it's also off on another tangent is um, a few years ago uh, Jennifer had provided the board I don't know if you remember it at that time when we got a whole packet had a title five in it it had all the situate regulations with tobacco and stuff because it's like comes in piecemeal mm -hmm. that's something that has to be done right away but did you ever were you here when we got that back we actually had a street listing we had the town bylaws Jennifer gave us a nice it had every little thing you needed to know about the town of Situate, and more in regards to Board of Health stuff. And um, are you guys interested in that? That makes sense to you. Well, you mean if somebody sort of a, a Board of Health portfolio? Yeah. For for each of you. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. So when I can put that together for the next meeting. It was, it was the bylaws in situ. We had the subdivision control laws. We had a little bit of everything. The stuff from the town. Most of it is just going to knock on an office door and say, "Hey, what are what are our special regulations for the stuff in it?" And like the tobacco regs, we've redone them. I don't know if we ever got a copy of what we did. We had questions on that. Um, sure. You know. And then we got we're informed, and maybe we can all brush up on certain things. Absolutely. If we have a question on something, then we'll we'll have Title V at home. A uh, most current one. I, I remember it was a nice packet of anything. I just put exactly what was coming. We had she put in there a street listing of all the people, um, subdivision control laws, I said that, zoning laws. A lot of it we may never yeah, need I, or I, use. I, I, I forget it, but it, it was a nice big packet of everything Did you in the town. It? Do you still have it? I probably have it stabbed through my office, yeah. Yeah. Well, you no, know, so then you can get an idea. We no, 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 no. So you didn't do it. Yeah. No, no, I think it was. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we put those together for the next, for the next meeting. Might have been, uh, remember Robinson, remember Lynch, I think, were two of them inside. So, Jennifer put it together. Like I said, it was just about, it was just about everything you needed to know in the town of Okay. Yeah, it was a nice little, that I was doing. Yeah, and a lot of it's on the website, so we can print out cop yeah, you know, print out the copies and make you know make more on the mm -hmm. machine. Because that's what I did when I started is I printed well, I printed the zoning bylaws, I printed the general bylaws. Um, so that I can see what, what, yeah, what applied apply to me. Yeah. That would be great. Sure. We can do that. Um, so do we want to kind of, moving forward towards the next meeting, do we want to take two separate but connected paths where we develop a form and a potential fee schedule for the here and now and then continue separately kind of lending additional town information. Yes, because you need to have something on file, especially now that you have two of them that people are coming forward. You need to have a folder and so on and so forth. Started for them 
so might as well start it now, right? Yeah, so we'll get a, a, an idea of a fee schedule and what you think is proper for administrative without gouging. You know, like I said, I'm repeating myself, but I don't want to have it as a tax. More mm -hmm. reasonable, which is why we did it. And I, I did, as you said, that puts a little something on there that people have to abide by. And we can review, and then we can dive into this in further detail and refine it. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah, and we are on the next agenda. It should be for public discussion. So, if anybody from the public wants to come in, I'd love to hear their input too. And that way, we got uh, we are open meeting law where the public will know that mm -hmm. that's what we're. Yeah, we're probably going to make a vote. Right? Yeah, I don't want to. Lie. We've been accused of stuff that's taken six years to be slammed under the door. So, <laughs> that might be, uh, I sleep very well at night. We've never done anything like that. So, open. Transparency. Open and transparent. That's right. There's nothing to hide. So, I was going to carry on with adding and revising this in the next two weeks okay. so I thought you know what I can do is if you I'll email this to you so in case you like the colors and you can see where things come from you can review it that way um, and then if you have feedback for me prior to the next meeting I can incorporate it if not we can kind of trade I can take your feedback and I can give you my next round okay and, and okay. Then, but then separately we'll have a, a form, you know, an application form and a fee schedule to review. And hopefully that, whatever we come up with, we'll, um, we'll say that will hold true on the, on the, on the right this date. final regulation at a further date, hopefully that will be a mid November. We have another two or three meetings anyway, so mm -hmm. yeah. the holiday season. Right. So and, we'll I figured, and figured this will stay on the agenda for every meeting mm -hmm. so that we keep kind of going back and forth. And, for your comments and revisions and awesome you guys good yeah yeah that sounds like a plan no one from the audience <laughs> all right no, no uh, any other new business or any new business i should say so, any other old business we so. want to discuss uh, are there any administrative invoice approvals for yeah. signatures? I, I do have an um, for old business update on 153 Country Way. I've been corresponding with the bank. Um, they have put in a work order to clean up the exterior rubbish and debris, and they're going to be winterizing the pipes in the house. But otherwise, the property will, will remain as it is. In the and they'll keep it secure. Mm -hmm. to know you're on top of it we appreciate it all right you good yeah. no feel is to sign mary no. 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 no she's still learning and i have a few to put together but they we didn't have time to get them ready yeah. yeah so i don't know we might have to email you to like start by if you can we can do that About it, Mr. Chairman? Uh, that's it, as far as I'm concerned. Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor, adjourn. Aye. Did you, uh,